Hello, you beautiful people. Today I wanted to talk about my fantasy teams and how I'm preparing them for the NBA playoffs. So I'm currently in two head-to-head -head points leagues and one head-to-head -head category league right now. So as always, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to and join the Discord in the description if you're a short king. And with that being said, we're just going to get into the video. So this first league I'm going to show you guys is a league I actually made with some a few subscribers from the Discord. And it's a head-to-head -head points league, 14 team league. So very deep league, not a lot of good players on the waiver wire or anything. So we'll just go ahead and look through the thing. As you can see, like this league just started, like we just kind of started this for fun a bit late, so only been in it for two weeks now, but I'll just go ahead and show you my roster. I haven't really made any trades, this is just mainly off of a draft, so we got Derek White, my guy, Malcolm Brogdon, Wiggins, Bam, Aiton, Poole, Clark Brunson, Hart, Gordon, Fournier, Cantor, not even going to try that guy's name, but you know, Poku and Joel Embiid. And yeah, I'm alright, I'm like mildly content with the draft I had, like as I said, we just started this league, so like I was just picking guys that would win now. Sort of, I was just kind of focusing on making the playoffs, but Embiid getting hurt really hurt my chances of even making the playoffs or of winning them at all, pretty much. I don't really like my team that much. It's not too deep, but like I said, this league was just made for fun a few weeks ago, so nothing too serious. And yeah, we're, with that being said, just wanted to show you guys that quickly if you were interested. I'm planning on doing more leagues with subscribers next year, so... Definitely be on the watch for that. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and go to the head-to-head -head category league. This is another league that's like just casuals. Like the last league I'm going to show you guys is like my pride and joy team. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and look at this. It is a 10-team head-to-head category league. So I got Steph Curry, CJ McCollum, Tatum, Bam, Woods, Simmons, Turner, Robinson, Brown, Kevin Porter Jr., Murray, Young, Garland, and Davis. And unlike the other league, there has been a few trades in this one. So as you can see, my record right now, currently 7-3-1. and one. So I traded for Curry. This was just a steal because one guy just didn't play at all. So I traded, like, I think it was Chris Boucher for him that on that one stretch that Chris Boucher was, like, a fantasy god. That guy was, like, a casual. He didn't care too much about fantasy. So, like I said, this league's mainly just casual players as well. So not too big of a deal. And then I drafted CJ, drafted Tatum, drafted Bam, drafted Wood, drafted Simmons too, I believe, and Turner. And Turner's just been an absolute steal in category leagues. Like, I got him. If we go ahead and look at it here, I think I got him with, like, the 70th pick or something. I got him the 86th pick, which is absolutely insane for someone who's pretty much single-handedly winning me the blocks category. He's averaging 3.4 blocks a game. Then we got Robinson, who's just a specialist. When I make my category league teams, I sort of just want guys that are either good all round or just like specialists in one thing. So like the categories I'm focusing on for this season anyway are going to be steals, assists, three-pointers, points, and blocks. Rebounding was in there because I had Andre Drummond at one point, but had to get rid of Andre Drummond, so... And I, that's actually how I got Jalen Brown and Ben Simmons. So I'll go ahead and show you that trade real quick. And I traded Zach Levine and Andre Drummond for Jalen Brown and Ben Simmons. And so far, I'm content with that just because Andre Drummond hasn't been playing. So I was like, I'd rather have people that are playing right now. And I'll just kind of shift my category focus. Plus, I really like Ben Simmons for category leagues, especially since I'm punting percentages, essentially. So definitely a great trade for me in that situation. And then, yeah, I just picked up Kevin Porter Jr. off of waivers just as, like, a streaming spot while AD's out. And then we got Murray, who's great for steals, points, and surprisingly good at rebounding for a guard, too. So that's definitely an underrated feature of him in category leagues. Then we got Thad Young, just a solid all-around contributor. Garland, who I'm not a particularly big fan of, but I have him on the team for right now, again, because I'm not too interested in percentages. And then, of course, we got AD on the IR. Him getting hurt really kind of threw my season for a loop, honestly. Because, like, if you look at my team, CJ missed a ton of games, Jason Tatum missed a ton of games, Wood missed a ton of games, and now AD's missing a ton of games. So nothing I can really do about it. Not like these guys are, like, super injury-prone. Like, CJ's not. AD, I guess, has to be classified as being injury-prone at this point in his career. But, yeah, it's not, like, a super big deal because, like I said, this league is more just for casuals. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move on to my last league, which is, like, the league that I take seriously. I have this with a couple of my friends. And obviously, we put some money on it, you know, here and there. And yeah, as you can see, I'm 7-4 and four right now. Again, the injuries have not been kind to me. So we'll go ahead and go through, like, each player individually and how I got them. Because, like I said, this league I take much more seriously. So make a lot more trades and people are more active in it. So if you watched my other video on how to build your fantasy teams quite a while ago, you can I most of these players are the same, but I have made a few moves since then. So first up is Damian Lillard. I traded him a few months ago for Devin Booker and Rashawn Holmes. And honestly, I'm very content with the return just because I'd rather have Dame than those two because I'm, I'm, I had a really good draft, so I had a lot of depth. So I was just trying to get a star player. And that's pretty much what I got here in Dame. Speaking of star players, next up we got Bradley Beal. 
Uh, so I traded Bradley Beal for OG and Devin Booker. So again, I think that's a great trade for me. OG has been hurt, so it was essentially Booker for Beal, and that's think I think that's a pretty good trade for me. I should mention this is an eight-team league, just so you guys are aware. Not ten, not twelve. And then Luca, I drafted him. I had the third pick overall this year, so decided to take Luca. It was between him and Harden for me personally. We had an idiot in our league who took Anthony Davis first overall, so luckily Luca fell to me. And then next up is Kawhi Leonard. And this is definitely like the biggest finesse I had of the year. And this is after Christian Wood got hurt. But I traded Giannis Antetokounmpo for Christian Wood, Mike Conley, and Kawhi Leonard. And like, I would have even just taken Christian Wood and Kawhi for Giannis, honestly. But then he wanted to throw in uh, Mike Conley as well. So I think that was a really good trade for me. I definitely miss having Giannis just because he's been like the second best player in fantasy. But for that return, I just couldn't pass on that. And then, yeah, next up, Nikola Vucevic. I drafted him. I think I had drafted him like 30th overall. And then Shea Gilgis-Alexander, I also drafted him with the 19th pick. I've been relatively pleased with his performance. I was expecting something something around here, just a consistent player. And yeah, I'm a really big fan of Shea's game, so big fan of that. And then if we move on, Christian Wood. Like I said, he came over in the Kawhi Leonard trade, so he's just coming back tonight, which is I'm very pumped about because he's been sitting on my IR for what seems like forever, so that's going to be a great boost to my team. Then if we go on to John ja Morant, uh, I made this trade as soon as he got hurt, so I traded Donovan Mitchell for John ja Morant, just because I'm not like a huge fan of Donovan Mitchell for fantasy, just because like he hasn't been proven to be that consistent outside of his scoring, and even then he's not like super efficient, so I'd rather just get Jaw. So far he's been somewhat disappointing, but I'm expecting that to bounce up soon. Like he's, They have the most games played, he's just working his way into the groove of things again, and he was on a tear at the start of the season, so I'm kind of expecting similar production. And if you notice, like, the points are weird, this, we have our own custom point settings for this, which I definitely wouldn't recommend. I just stick with the default settings, because in the default settings, like, every position's kind of balanced, but in our league centers and, like, big men are kind of OP just because of rebounding, so definitely some lessons for next year. And then we'll just move on. Next up is going to be DeMontis Sabonis. So I traded for Sabonis, and I traded De'Aaron Fox and Al Horford. And this was on that stretch when Al Horford had, like, four good games, and I was, like, preaching that you should sell high on him because... I just hate Al Horford for fantasy, he sits out so many games, and I just really love Sabonis' consistent production, so really good trade for me there. Then we got Edwards, who's been tearing it up lately. He's just a waiver wire ad, because as you can see on my IR, I have quite a few boys there. Then Derek White, who I will never give up on. I said he was good, going to be good too many times, so I kind of backed myself into a corner here, but <laughs> whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure White's production is going to pick up soon, so I don't mind having him on my team too much. Then we got DeLon Wright, who's also been on a tear as of late. And then, of course, Time Lord, big Celtics fan, so, you know, what what would be a team without Time Lord? And then we have the bane of my existence, Jaren's Jackson Jr. I fucking can't stand this guy. Like, every month it seems like he's, like he's going to be coming back soon and then just falls through and it doesn't happen. And then if we move on, we got D'Angelo Russell here, and he's also been pissing me off, so I traded Lonzo Ball and Evan Fournier for him. And that's just because at the time I needed to do a two-for-one to activate someone else on my IR, so... I'm kind of regretting that because, like, the very next game, D'Lo got hurt, and he hasn't played for me since, but he's supposed to be back soon, so hopefully he gets back healthy, and then that'll really help my team out. I wasn't too big a fan of Evan Fournier, and I didn't think Lonzo Ball was going to sustain that kind of production, but he's been surprisingly consistent so far this season, so shout out to Lonzo. And then the last player on my team is going to be DeMar DeRozan. And as we look here, I traded Anthony Davis for him. And this was, of course, after AD got hurt. Originally, I had Anthony Davis on my team, and I gave up a lot to get him, so it kind of hurt. But I was just glad that I could get a return like DeMar for him because it looks like AD is going to be out for like another month at least. So, yeah, I like that trade for me. And overall, those are going to be my fantasy teams for the year. So as you can see, this is the head-to-head -head points league. I'll just scroll through one more time in case you want to look. I'm really liking it in terms of the playoffs. I mean, I got a lot of guys that I think are going to perform really well in the playoffs, like Dame, Beal, Luka, Kawhi, Vucevic. Shea, Wood, Jaw, like pretty much the entire team, honestly. I was looking at it, and I think I have like 10 of the, my players are like the best player on their respective team, so that's something that I always try to aim for. And yeah, my team's just ridiculously stacked, so I really like my chances in this league. And then if we go back over to the category leagues, like I said, this is just something casual. Nothing too serious, but I really like my chances here, just because like the players that I have are really focused in on the categories that I chose to focus on this year, so... I also just have a man crush on Miles Turner for single-handedly winning me blocks. I'm going to mention that every time I mention his name. Shout out Miles Turner, man. And then if we look at the league with subscribers again, 
Shout out to you guys if you're in the league. Like I said, just watch out for next year. I really want to get a lot more like interactive stuff going with you guys. So, I mean, yeah, this league, like I said, nothing serious. It's only been two weeks, but this team is not too great. But with that being said, I think that's going to wrap up the video. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Leave your fantasy teams in the comments below. Any trades you have that you want some advice for or just anything. Really. I love giving you guys advice. And yeah, I hope this helps you guys build your team just to like kind of parallel what I have going on, especially in this league here. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.